What is up people of YouTube? I think by now we know the drill already. Another day, another opportunity for Transfer Portal News. And today we're talking about uh, Celeste Taylor from Duke, who recently announced a couple of days ago that she was leaving Duke. Um, and now we can officially confirm that she is now with Ohio State University. Uh, she's going from a blue demon to a buckeye. Um, she announced the news today on her social media. Um, and in this video, we're gonna talk about, we're gonna talk a little bit about her leaving. Um, we're also gonna talk about uh, what this means for her as a player um, and what she can possibly do at Ohio State. And also we're gonna talk about what this means uh, for Ohio State as a team. Um, and actually, before we get started, I just want to give a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. Um, and everybody who's watched a video to this date, whether you're subscribed or not, um, we are at 1700 subscribers, like 1700. It blows my mind to the amazing people who have decided to subscribe to this channel. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to every single person who has subscribed to this channel. Um, you love women's basketball, you love sports, and thank you for subscribing to a channel that talks about that. Um, and hopefully a relatable and interesting way. Um, let me know about that in the comments. <laughs> uh, I am just a regular person who loves, loves, loves women's basketball and enjoys talking about it um, and decided to record myself talking about it. Thank you so much for rocking with me. Um, and for folks who are not subscribed to this channel, uh, what are you waiting for? There's 1700 people who, who've made the decision to subscribe. How about you? Uh, join the Quita Love Sports movement. That's right. I'm going to call it a movement. I mean, why not? I can call it whatever I want. We're calling this a movement. Subscribe to the Quita Love Sports movement by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. Thanks so much. And let's go back to our regularly scheduled program. All right, let's get into our regularly scheduled program. So Celeste Taylor is officially an Ohio State Buckeye. Um, and when she first announced that she was leaving Duke um, a couple of days ago, I was shocked. Like I really was, uh, primarily because she said she was coming back. Um, and also because she played a huge role at Duke, right? Uh, she played a ton of minutes. Uh, she was definitely the best player on the court and she really controlled the ball. Um, I just, I thought she was in a great position. Um, at Duke, uh, but she obviously decided to leave uh, Duke as a school. Um, and for those who don't know, this is gonna be Celeste Taylor's third college, right? She um, she hasn't always been at Duke. She initially started her career, her college career at Texas, uh, where she played her freshman, sophomore year there. Uh, for her junior year, she decided to leave Texas and go to Duke. Um, she played for Duke for two years, her junior and senior year. Now for her optional fifth year, she, is going to Ohio State. And for those who are like, what? She gets a fifth year? Yes, that's right. That, that's a, the COVID year that um, folks get to pick up, um, college players get to pick up. Uh, and this year, it seems like there's a quite a bit of women's basketball players who are picking up that fifth year um, and deciding to stay in college and do like a, a, a grad program somewhere and play basketball for another year. So pretty great opportunity for her to, to play for her fifth year and she has decided to go to Ohio State. Um, so as I said, she originally said that she was gonna um, return to Duke. And for those who are wondering why she's leaving Duke, maybe this shines a little bit of light on things. Uh, so she posted on Twitter a uh, note to, um, to the Duke fans. Uh, so she says, Cameron Crazies, you will always have my heart. You embrace a young kid who was lost with open arms and I couldn't be more grateful. The relationships that I have been able to build with everyone will be unforgettable. I can't thank Duke enough for the unwavering support. Thank you to all my coaches for giving me a place I can call home and helping me learn and grow. Thank you for being a big part of my journey, Duke. Uh, due to unforeseen circumstances, I have decided to do my grad year at the Ohio State University. All right, so that's what she said. And it lets us know that this move was not planned. Um, she didn't expect to be leaving Duke, but she is. Um, maybe we'll find out in a couple of years why she decided to leave Duke, or maybe we won't. It's sort of all speculation from here. Um, but if you have an idea of why you think she's leaving, um, let me know in the comments. I have 
zero thoughts at all besides the fact that one of Duke's uh, coaches, um, I believe one of the assistant coaches, uh, left Duke and went to South Carolina. So maybe that's a reason. Mm, I don't know. Uh, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Um, but what we do know is that Celeste is going to a very, very talented team. Very, very talented. Um, so we all know that um, Ohio State was phenomenal this year, right? They made it to the Elite Eight in the NCAA tournament. And also um, for the Big Ten, made it to all the way to the championship game. Uh, they were led by um, guard Taylor Mikesell. Um, and I, I don't know, I always pronounce her name wrong. So like her last name wrong. So I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but yeah. Uh, they were led by Taylor and Taylor actually got drafted to the Indiana Fever in the WNBA. Um, and so for all the Ohio State fans, please, uh, follow Taylor in her, uh, Indiana Fever career. Um, but anyway, uh, Theoretically, uh, Celeste is a uh, is just gonna slot right in to where Taylor has left the team. Um, it's not really a like for like situation in terms of uh, player for player, but uh, T uh, Celeste brings a lot of amazing experience um, and will really be able to help Ohio State out and ensure that Ohio State does not fall off next year. Um, just because they lost their best player does not mean they're going to fall off as a team. Uh, and the reason why they're not going to fall off is, is yes, uh, because of Celeste Taylor, but also uh, because of the two extremely amazing players that they still have on this roster, right? You have freshman phenom Cody McMahon, like, Cody is amazing. Like she's a, she's a four. She could shoot a three. She can, um, you know, get to the basket. She's just all around a really solid player. Uh, and, and, and for sure. Um, one of the top players on this team, you also have Jack Shelton, um, who's opting to return for her fifth year, uh, in college. Again, another fifth year, uh, fifth years is really, there's a lot of fifth years that, that, that decided to come back for it, for the, um, the, for women's basketball or for the NCAA. I'm not sure about the men um, or about other sports, but for women's basketball, lots of fifth years who are coming back. Um, so Ohio State is not like they're returning a lot of their best players, but also they have some players incoming that will be able to kind of do quite a bit, right? You have um, two players that I want to talk about briefly uh, that are coming in as freshmen for Ohio State. Uh, or the Ohio State University. I know I said uh, just saying Ohio State for this video, but I know the uh, the Ohio State uh, fans um, and and graduates will correct me on that. So the Ohio State. Uh, so we have a couple of um, incoming Buckeyes. Uh, so you have four star point guard Diana Collins, who's you know doing yeah, she's pretty good. Pretty good player. Um, she definitely won't start. Uh, Celeste Taylor will will, will start. Uh, but the the benefit is that um, Diana will be able to uh, come off the bench and just really see um, how the college game is done, and um, will be able to likely start her sophomore year when um, both Celeste and uh, Jack Shelton are are gone. So good. Um, this pretty good for, for Diana. Uh, they also have uh, center and Michigan Associated Press Division Three Girls Basketball Player of the Year, Faith Carson, who's joining the team. Um, Faith Carson is awesome. Ohio State is in good shape uh, going forward, especially next year. Um, so that being said, they're probably going to make it to uh, for, further in the tournament again next year. Uh, you know, uh, it's probably it's probably elite eight or bust for next year for for the Ohio State, um, and they'll likely make it again to the Big Ten tournament game, uh, likely beating Iowa because uh, as of right now, Iowa still doesn't really have a replacement uh, for Monica Sanano. So um, until they get that figured out, it seems likely that Ohio State will beat them in the um, in the Big Ten tournament game, um, but we, we will see. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. What do you think about Celeste Taylor going to the Ohio State University? 
Uh, what do you think this means for the team? How far do you think they'll make it next year? And also, just so you know, we are still on um, Haley Van Liff watch and Anissa Morrow watch. When I find out where they're going, I will make sure to make a video and make sure you all are informed. Uh, if there's any other transfers you want me to make a video about, let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye.